Very much. Well, with that threat of potential tropical trouble that Jen was just talking about this weekend, Mobile City Council is shelling out nearly half a million bucks this week mm. to be prepared for the next big storm. And that project that they approve will keep traffic lights at major intersections on if the power were to go off. Our Tyler Fingered is live in Mobile with the details on all of this now. Tyler. Lenise, this is all about public safety. They will be buying 55 generators to keep intersections like this one powered should a storm, storm knock the lights out. Tonight, drivers are on the road and on the move. Many not giving a second thought to stoplights. But what about when they're out? The number of wrecks and things always go up during, you know, power outages and stuff. And it's just definitely it's unsafe because no one ever really knows, you know, if it's your turn or, you know, if it's the next person's turn. It's super confusing. The city of Mobile hoping to make sure that's a thing of the past. Hurricane season at the forefront of the decision to spend $392,000 on 55 generators to power stoplights during extended outages. I jokingly said that this might be the best insurance policy that we ever we ever took out. The idea to use a generator was tested last year after Hurricane Zeta. They were able to power up several stoplights near I-65 and Dauphin Street. With a traffic signal being out uh, at, a, at an interstate ramp, uh, that has potential to have traffic back up on the interstate and, and create further issues for us, you know, uh, create a traffic accident on the interstate. The city, along with the Mobile Police Department, selected these 55 high traffic intersections for the generators. Some of those intersections are near I-65 and Dauphin Street. Mobile Police Interim Chief Roy Hodge says it takes 26 officers to staff this one area when traffic lights are out, costing the city $800 an hour. If it cost us a couple hundred thousand dollars to prep these intersections and generators and we don't have a storm and ever have the ever have the need to use them you know I'll take that but if we do uh, we'll be ready. Drivers in the port city believe it's a good investment should a tropical system cause issues. Anything the city can do to help when we're in a tragic time I, I, I would agree with it. It's definitely worth it. Save a lot of lives I believe. It is going to take several months to get all 55 intersections equipped. If you want to see if your local intersection is on the list, head to our website, fox10tv.com. We have it for you on the story, uh, the link for it on this story right here. We're live tonight in Mobile. Tyler Finger, Fox 10 News.